Hi guys, my name is Gilbert and welcome back to this HTML series. In this video, we are going to add some medias in HTML. But before that, I just want to remind you to get your coupon down in the description. You will get a lifetime access for my full HTML course for free. It's only for the first 100 person and it will expire in a week. The course is present in French and English, so feel free to choose. So what I mean by adding some media? Well, all we are going to do is add some images, audios and videos in HTML. Before showing you any method, make sure that you have an image, audio or a video that you want to display or otherwise this video is completely useless. Anyways, let's start with the images. Here I will create a new file and will add the t-shirt HTML meme in it. So to add an image, there's two methods. In this series, which is on YouTube, we will discover the most common one. But if you want the second one, then check my full HTML course on Udemy. So in our method called mImage, we will add our image inside our web page. What I mean is that we will see an image, for example, in the middle of our web page. And to do that, we will add the image tag and inside it, we must add some important attributes. The first one is SRC, which represents source or from where the browser finds the image. In the SRC attribute, you will use a normal reference to tell the browser where the image is currently located on your computer. And because we added a file called images and inside it, we add the meme images, we will write images slash meme.jpg. Now, if we press F5, you can see that we have our image between the texts. Now, the second important attribute is the alt attribute, which represents an alternate text. Here, you will basically type a normal phrase or text that is an alternate text which describes the image if you can't see it. Here's an example. I'll remove the image from the folder so that the browser can't find the image. I'll run, and as you can see, the text is displayed because we couldn't find the image in the relative path or image file. In other words, if the image is outside the folder, then you need to remove the images because it will search the folder where the HTML file is currently in. Now let's jump to the audio and video. So first add the audio tag. Its location in your code will be the actual location seen on your website. For example, if you add it after a paragraph, it will be seen after the paragraph. In this tag, we will place the SRC or source from where you want the audio to be loaded, just like the image tag. So we use the attribute SRC and put the location of the audio with the correct format and I recommend MP3 format. If the browser doesn't read the audio tag, then it will display the text that is inside the audio tag. And here there is none. To do that, we will add some text. Again, this text will not be displayed unless you open the website in a really old browser. Now we have a problem. There is no controls on your audio file. To do so, we need to add the controls attribute. This attribute doesn't take any values. Yep, an attribute without value is possible. Hi guys. Hi guys. After that, you can still add some attributes that usually doesn't require any value in audio like the loop attribute that will repeat automatically each time the audio reaches the end and so on. And here's the right time to show you my favorite reference website which is hmlreference.io. By searching for the tag audio, you can find a lot of attributes valuable for this tag. Anyways, now for the video. Just pay attention that if you understood the audio, then you will definitely understand the video tag. So first you add the video tag like normal. Inside the opening tag, you add the source attribute just like we did with the audio tags. And inside the source, you paste the correct path to your video. Also, if you want some controls, you add the controls attribute that is a reminder without a value. If you want to make it repeat, then use the loop attribute. If you want it to start without sound, use the mute attribute and so on. As you can see, we have the video that I put in my files on my website. And just by pressing the video, it will start. Again, if the browser doesn't support the video tag, it will display what is written between its closing and opening tags. That's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget your coupon down in the description that will give you a full lifetime access for free to my HTML course. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn, and I'll see you on next Friday. Goodbye.